Hi guys, I thought I'd do a Q&A. Um, a few people have asked um, to do a Q&A and for um, always asking heaps of questions in the comments and on our Facebook page. So I've written a few down. Um, I didn't think I could answer them all in one. So I'll do another one. So if you have any questions that you want to ask, um, feel free to ask them in the comments below um, or on our Facebook page. Um, so the first question I'll do is um, um, do we have a buddy system? No we don't have a buddy system. Um, if we're out somewhere that's really busy or if one of the little kids needs a hand downstairs or something um, like at the beach the other day um, we needed um, Andrew to help I think it was Harry walk down the stairs because it was like three flights of stairs that we, we went down to get to the beach on the first beach we went to um, or if we go somewhere really busy like the airport and we go through like um, customs and stuff in that really wiggly line we sort of get them to stay in twos um, but um, yeah or we tell them you know stay with Andrew um, and wait for mum on the other side of you know security things um, yeah so other than that no we don't do a buddy system um, yeah, so that's that one. Um, how do we afford 10 kids? We get that one a lot. And I find it really hard to answer without feeling like I'm offending someone or something. Um, so my way of putting it is it's a lifestyle choice. Same as someone choosing to go overseas every year or going out to dinner three or four times a week or, I don't know, um, buying a BMW um, we have a giant bus instead of a BMW um, yeah so things like that our second car is actually quite new so um, um, yeah so yeah so I, th I look at it as in that way um, I guess everyone chooses different lifestyles has different incomes um, yes yeah, so we all do what we can for our children and for our life really so um, that's what we choose to do um, is to have all these kids um, and it's not like everyone thinks for your first and second maybe even your third they cost they do cost a lot but after that it's not much that's added on um, like the kids school for example after the fourth we only pay X amount a year I'm not going to disclose the figure um, they are in private school for those that don't know um, so it's not that much compared to Andrew's fees it's like nothing and it actually works out cheaper to send them to private school um, in that way so our next question is what happens when one of them is sick um, I assume this is vomiting sick or something like that um, so um, we usually have, um, so whoever gets sick, we take the other kids out of that room and put them in the other rooms, the other two rooms that we have kids in. And they stay in there by themselves. They are not allowed out of that room until 24 hours after they've stopped vomiting. Um, we have portable DVD players, tablets and stuff that go in there. That is our way of contain containing it to that room and it works well unless they've already contained like unless they've already got the bug then we generally can keep it to the one child um in cases where it spreads once they become sick then that child goes into the sick room as we shall call it um and then they all start going in there once they get better then we move the ones that haven't been sick into a room and the ones that have been sick and are better and getting healthy into a different room to sleep otherwise they are allowed in the lounge room um into a yeah so a different room away from the ones that haven't got sick just in case so yeah so then so that sort of rotates and usually works last time we got it four of us didn't get the bug eric got it which is unusual and um yeah um and a bunch of the kids got it and then three of the kids didn't get it so yeah so it does work in a way 
For colds and flus, I just let it run. Um, the only one we sort of watch is Tyler because he has um, asthma, which is caused by um, colds and flus. So, um, yeah, and he ends up in hospital quite often with that. Right, uh, next question is, um, have we always wanted a big family? I always wanted four or six kids. Eric wanted eight. He um, then wanted 12 and still does want 12. I take it one at a time from then and still do. I haven't made my mind up whether it's a complete no or, um, uh, or yeah, we will definitely have one. At the moment, no. I don't want to get pregnant in the near future. Um, yeah, I just want to do a few things. We went overseas in 2015, so no longer next last year. Um, and I really enjoyed that. And we want to take them back um, overseas, hopefully in um, 12 to 18, 18 months' time. Yeah, end of 2018, early 2019. Um, we want to go back. So um, we will look at that. Um, yeah, later. We're 32 and 33, so a lot of our friends are having their first child or possibly their second child. Some even have, haven't even had kids, so we're still pretty young. So um, that answers that one. Um, and that answers the next one, do we want any more kids? Um, so, yeah, um, that answers that one as well. Um, the kids' chores. Um, I'm about to change this. Um, they do have set chores um, and they have to, like if we tell them to clean up after dinner. Everyone has to clean up while I'm cooking dinner, or well, they're supposed to. Some of them pull the, I have homework card um, during school time. Um, but yeah, this lounge room is supposed to be all cleared and done and then I vacuum while Eric dresses the kids. Usually that's how it goes, but sometimes it doesn't, um, if you've noticed. Um, but it all gets done the next day otherwise. Um, toy mess, we're not too strict on. Um, any other mess, I am, I don't really, yeah, so if it's food or anything, I, it has to be cleaned up. Um, yeah, but um, toys and stuff laying around, if you, lately it's clothes, because I've done heaps of washing and um, we've been out heaps, so I haven't folded it, so really needed to get onto that but um yeah other than that the kids have set chores but have to do what what we ask of them too which isn't generally much um uh cooper and lachlan or tyler and harry twins this several times has been asked separately but we've been asked about those two ki two lots a few times. None of the kids are twins. Um, they're all singles. So they're 13, 11, 9, 7, um, 6, 4, nearly 5 is Tyler. Um, 3, 2, 1 and Zoe is 2 months today. Um, yeah, so yeah, no twins at all. Um, do me and Eric go out on date nights? Yes, we do. Um, not heaps often. And they're not really date nights. Like um, last year we had an engagement party and we went out without them. They weren't. They couldn't go. Um, and then another time we've had weddings. A few of our friends have gotten pregnant, uh, got pregnant, have gotten married in the last few years and kids weren't invited. So we've gone to them. We've been to a couple where they were allowed, so they went with us. Um, and then there's our wedding anniversary in April. We usually have a night out around there. Um, unless last year we didn't, for some reason. I think Tyler was in hospital. Um, so, yeah, that was postponed and we never did it. But, um, yeah, we do have date nights. We pay a babysitter. Um, our parents are all young so and all still work so um yeah so they don't have they live too far away to to babysit for a night so my parents live three three and a half hours away so for them to come to babysit for a few hours is a bit much so yeah we have a lovely lady that comes and babysits them um and i think that's all that i've got on my list so if you have any other questions, um, there was heaps more. I could, I only went through a few um, videos to write them down. Um, I will write them down from now on um, for my for another Q&A. 
um, which I should do in another few weeks. Hopefully I'll get Eric to do it with me next time um, if you have any questions for him. Or I might do one with the kids. See how that goes. Um, I'm not sure. It'll obviously only be the older kids, um, the older kids being the top six or seven. So, um, yeah. So if you have any questions, put them down in the comments or on our Facebook page, which is Yes, They Are All Ours Australia. I don't know why we had to write Australia. But, yeah. Um, anyway, so that's it for today. Bye. Say bye. Bye. bye.